Hi, I'm Fanula Malone from the Milk Quality Team and today we're actually going to talk about thermodurix. So the reason that we're in a paddock talking about thermodurix is that this is actually where they start. And a lot of the time we're thinking about how to get rid of the thermodurix buildup in the parlor. But actually it's when we're bringing in the cows and how the cows are and how their teats are influences where the thermodurix starts from. The reason that processes worry about thermodurix is that they're the bugs that can't be killed out by pasteurization. So the better quality milk that comes in with lower bacteria levels, that actually determines the product quality the other side of, of the factory. So it's all about anything that we can do in the milk quality team to help people get ahead of any issues or catch up and prevent issues. That's what we're there for. So one of the most key pieces around cow management for prevention of thermodurix is actually the roadways and actually the way as you bring cows into the parlor. If your roadways get dusty, muddy and not so good to walk on, your cows are always going to be kicking up lots of dirt and dust onto their teats. That's not ideal because it actually leads to more need for teat prep and clean, cleaning teats when they come into the parlor. Now a lot of the time teats will look clean to the visual eye but there, there will always be a layer of dust there and that's where the thermodurics come from. They're in the environment, they're in soil and they're in mud. Good roadways also lead to better lameness management. The better your roadways, the less lame cows you'll have. And that's really important because it's much easier to manage a herd without lame cows. The other piece is that because your cows are coming in to be milked, a lot of them are starting to milk, let milk down and the sphincter muscle is opening at the end of the teats. And that's a real key place for bacteria to actually get in. And the less bacteria that actually get into the teats, the less mastitis you're going to have. The cleaner you can have the collecting yard when the cows are coming into it, the better. And also the exit at the other side. The reason being, that's when the dust and dirt will collect on the outside of the teats. So it's really key to actually keep this as clean as possible. A lot of the time in the summer, if we're having a good summer, it can get quite dusty. And that just means you need to clean off the teats. But the really big thing to avoid is trying to avoid having a lot of muck coming up in the cows as they're coming into the parlor or at the other end as they're coming out.